Hello, it's Tab from FreeFly, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Movi wheels and show you how to set them up. Um, first, I want to just go over the parts and pieces that make up this package and explain them real quick, and then we're going to go from out of the box to fully set up uh, as a second part of the video. So, these are the wheel, we call these the wheel modules. I've got two of them here with brass wheels, and then as we come down the line, you can see just the stock stainless steel uh, wheels that, that come stock um, on the actual module. There's a potentiometer here which controls your speed or your gear ratio, and then there's a momentary button there which allows you to defer the wheel or turn it off, pause it. Um, and then on this side of the module, we've got a friction lock. So you can lock the wheels so they won't move, or you can adjust and vary the friction to find kind of the way you want the wheels to feel. In the stock setting, they're very, very free. So, uh, And then as we carry on down the line this is the base plate for the wheels so we we designed this 25 millimeter uh, quick release post which allows you to quickly mount the wheels to this plate and then be able to position them in any orientation that the operator likes which is really cool and then we mount the Movi controller using the same post there this is just a you know a cheese plate with three eighths uh, mounts for tripods that kind of thing uh, and then getting into the cabling and accessories, this is the CAN to CAN cable. So this is how you can daisy chain up to nine wheel modules. Um, just plugs right into the CAN and daisy chains to the next module. Next module. And then this guy is the UART data cable, which allows you to connect the first wheel module to the Movi controller. Um, so this system wheels can be used with both Movi controller and Mimic. Uh, and then we have a couple more of these accessory parts just to show how you could mount things to these posts if you wanted to. So you can build kind of a whole modular mounting system uh, with these guys. So I think that's a good overview. And then we include the two drivers that you'll need in the kit. And there's a Pelican case, which I'll show you in a second as we build the system. Uh, but that's a great overview of what the system includes and we're gonna build it next. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set up wheels with Movi controller now. So your wheels will arrive in this SKB case with custom cut foam. We've got the two tools that you'll need here. And then this one set up as a three axis wheel system. Um, if you buy a two axis one, it'll just arrive like that with one of the axes missing. So let's go. So I'm gonna pull one thing. These things are pretty tippy because the wheels are so heavy. I just almost dropped one off the table a minute ago. So when you pull them out, I recommend you set them like that. Um, I'm gonna pull the wheels out all individually so I can show mounting the cheese plate. Grab these tools for us to use. Set that guy there. And I'll be hooking it up to this Movi Pro. Getting you all dialed in for wheels operation. So for the setup I'm running today, I've just got a tripod here. It's interfacing with a 3 8 hole in the bottom of the cheese plate. So let me just spin that down real quick. All right. So once we have that, I can start to position my wheels. So I know this one's going to end up being a three axis configuration. So I've got these little quick release levers here, similar to what we use on Movi Pro. If you've used Movi Pro, you're probably familiar with those. So I'll take that guy. Drop him right onto the 25 millimeter post. Clamp that down. He's good. So let's do the next one. Clamp him down. And then we'll add roll. So that's the base, the base setup here. And then as you can see, we can unclamp these. We can adjust to any configuration we wanted. We can remove one wheel, two wheel, three wheel as we want. Put them elsewhere if you want to give control of roll to somebody in the back of the car. You could break that off, add the cable. You could even run roll just directly with Mimic if you wanted to, to give them control. Um, so lots of different flexibility there. Put this guy back on. Now let's add Movi controller. So we chose to make a mount which uses the same idea for Movi controller, which is really nice because um, it allows you to, I'm going to swivel this down. So I can swivel Movi controller down and get it out of the way so that I can, you know, if I want to change IDX batteries or something like that, it's real, real easy to do. Here's the cables that you'll need to set up a Movi controller. 
So we need the data cable. This is a UART cable, which routes from the Mobi controller to the first wheel in the chain. And then these are CAN cables that we can daisy chain the wheel modules with. So this guy plugs right into the aux port on the Mobi controller and then comes down and plugs into the first wheel module into the UART plug. And these are little micro fit connectors. So they're they are locking connectors, they're over molded, they're strain relieved, they're pretty beefy little guys. And then we're gonna daisy chain from this module to plug in the last module here into the CAN port. And now our wheels are all plugged in, wired up. Uh, you can see each LED is on. Um, so we've got power to each wheel module. I can adjust the speed on each wheel module and I can see them changing on the Mobi controller. So we know that's good. Um, and then you can see for this setup, I've got pan and tilt. And you can see it's responding in pan and tilt as I'd expect. Um, so at this point, we're going to be just refining the settings on the Mobi controller to get the exact feel that we want, which will involve reducing any smoothing, dead band, and then setting our remote rate scale to be what, what we want to have for the right kind of feel for wheels. All right, so now I want to show you how to use Mimic with Mobi wheels. So you've got the standard 13 millimeter post that's on the back of Mimic. You can quick release that right into the bracket that I showed you earlier, which adapts to wheels. So that quick release is there. You connect a USB-C cable from Mimic right down into the first wheel module, and then they daisy chain exactly the same as they did on Mobi controller. Uh, we don't have the firmware for this ready to show right now, but that's exactly how it would work. All right, so I want to talk through how I set up the Mobi controller to use wheels. So when you go to the end of the TX config menu, after you've updated your controller to the latest um, mod or latest firmware, you'll see that you have a free fly wheels mode. And then as you scroll down in this, this shows you your speed and your mapping for each axis. So right now I've end the direction. So I've got Clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. My pan has a, a speed of 1.4. My tilt has a speed of 1.1. And then I can adjust those. Like let's say if I want pan to be a speed nine, which is very fast. It's like a one to one gear ratio essentially. Um, and same with tilt, I have control over both of those independently. And then there's more settings to all the TX config menu settings that you'd normally have. Um, but I would say the only thing, other thing I would make sure of is when you go into Mobi Basic, Go into dual op and you want to make sure your smoothing window expo smoothing all zero uh, we don't want any smoothing whatsoever when we're using wheels because they have mechanical inertia in the wheels to smooth out any of the bumps that we would normally want to smooth out from a joystick that kind of thing so people typically when they're using wheels are looking for as direct control as possible all right so when we're looking at each module you can see we have our speed potentiometer here and I can vary that, and that will register on the Mobi controller screen. So you have real-time feedback as to what your speed's set to. Most people will find a speed range that they like and leave it there. And then this momentary button you can see turns blue. When it does that, I've paused the axis. So even if I move the wheel, Mobi's not going to move. Unpause, it's back active again, and you're good to go. Um, and then the other thing we, we didn't really touch on was the friction lock. So as you turn the friction lock this way, it will actually lock the wheel so I can't move it there. And then depending on where I go with this, I get a varying degree of friction. So for an example, if I was operating in the back of a car and I knew I was gonna get jostled around a little bit and I was worried about inputting little small movements that I didn't necessarily wanna have, I could increase the friction lock a little bit and know that it, the wheel wouldn't move without me really, really trying to move it, which is helpful. One, one thing we didn't touch on, the wheels are removable, so there's just a uh, quick release guy here. We engage the friction lock and you can just remove this. It's got a little captured toolless fastener. So this stays with the wheel. The wheels are precision balanced. Um, we mill away just the right amount of material so that they're balanced by the time you add this. 
Um, in the future, we'll actually have, when you turn wheels mode on, it'll just automatically set up the parameters in the Movi as far as smoothing and deadband and that kind of stuff with an upcoming firmware update. So people, you won't even have to adjust anything. You just plug in wheels and it'll know how it should be set up.